This segment is brought to you by Fit Pro Fitment. In this episode, we are joined by Neil and Richard from the United States of America. Follow us as we hunt Plains Game in the Limpopo Valley Game Reserve. This safari starts out of one of our luxury bush camps. Good or not, it was quick and he was no, it was a good. No, I think, I think it was a good shot. You think I hit him? Yeah, no, definitely hit him. You know, any shot that kills an animal is a good I shot. I, I, I don't like it quite like that, you know. Well, like I said, he didn't go, well, he probably went about three, four hundred yards, but um, he's stone dead. He's dead. So yeah. that bullet made, made it exactly to where it was meant to be. So you were right when you said you heard something crash. I heard a good crash. <laughs> well, after that shot, I couldn't hear it. Eugene was I'm off sorry. deaf. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, look at this thing. Just <laughs> that's a tank. When I saw him, I was like, damn, there's that's a nice, that's a damn nice water buck. I think he's close to that 30. Is he really? Oh, for sure. Good shooting. 
Well done. <laughs> Yeah, and, up, and, and I and, should. And unless you don't grab the rifle, grab right. it here, and just kind of push it up. Yeah, and get I, I will steady. from now on. I thought about, it, but I thought, no, I'm gonna not move anymore because I don't want to do anything that gives it one more second. I just gotta yes, get yes. my breath and be like, because now I actually, it's like when you're finally on it, then you get really excited, right? And it's like. Boom. <laughs> you know, wait for that where it's, I'm really settled and I'm not, because you can see in the scope, just yes, like you yes. see the barrel. Mm. What's he doing? <laughs> he's getting his, he's getting down to that, getting it all back down where it belongs and, and squeeze the trigger. Trigger Cam, for the ultimate firearm filming solution. Proud sponsor of African Safari Films and Big Game Adventures series. Not as uh, clean shooting as I did yesterday, but yeah, his it front, mm, mm. the shoulder was was kind of right in the brush, and I shot as close up as okay. I could, as okay. from where okay. I was at, because there was I didn't have a there was only that little slight time to yes, get that shoulder. Yes, yes, yes. This is a very old bow. Congratulations. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you.
foam from the ones you usually shoot that just comes out. Congratulations. No, that's right there. 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 <laughs> Congratulations. Beautiful. Nice Excellent. long point. Yeah. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Good shooting. Thank you. Thank you. Just as old. Just look at that. Just like Niels. Just like Niels. <laughs> but a perfect between the shoulder and the neck. Most animals. And Both maybe I held a little high. Yeah. I don't know, you know, when I aimed. But that's a... I just that he was just straight on. Yeah. I mean that's the only he had his head like that and I just yeah. set it below his head. Yes. And just tried to mm. center punch. No, that's a good shot. Yeah, he calls. Yeah. Amazing. I'm here with Donnie Stryker, my PH. And so Donnie, tell me how we got onto this 
amazing sable. So actually what happened is we were driving looking for fresh tracks or any animals that's left on our list. We managed to spot some blue wildebeest, decided to go after them. And as we were talking to them, we kind of heard a crunch in a bush next to us. And then we kind of proceeded to move closer and we saw this beautiful bull. Right, so then you had us actually sit down in the shadows on the road where we could have a clear shot if the sable decided to come back across the road, which you felt like it was going to. And we sat there quite a while. And, uh, but we were patient and I was trying to make up my mind if I could afford a sable, so. Uh, <laughs> but you know, you can't help it when you come here, you just love it and it, it was worth every minute. It walked out, I got my opportunity, I took a good shot and uh, probably didn't go maybe a hundred yards if yeah, even that. Yeah, if, if even that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and our cameraman was with us and luckily caught it. Barry was with us and caught all the footage. Uh, so we could really, uh, you know, have this as a memory for the rest of my life. Amazing here with the PJ group, Donnie, and All the rest time. of the gang has been great. Cheers to a great hunt. Cheers. Yeah, great hunt. Nice table. The next segment is proudly brought to you by Olight. Next level lighting, when hunters need it the most. Light, turning night into day. Andy, that's what it is. I want no blood on the trip. Yeah, but all that hair. Yeah, yeah, all the hair. Oh, I hit him, I hit him on the upper shoulder right here. Yeah. <coughs> Alright Richard, so 
here we are, day six of your safari uh, in the Limpopo Valley with a beautiful, beautiful lechwe bull. Um, gave us a little bit of a run around this morning, but eventually we, we found him and uh, got you on the sticks and we made a perfect double long shot. So, yeah, tell us a bit about your experience on it. Um. Lechoi's just been a, they're such a gorgeous animal and I feel fortunate that we had an opportunity to, to see this lechoi. We, like you said, we made a couple of stalks, uh, gave us the slip there. It was not quite as fast on the stick as I'd hoped to be, but uh, just fortunate that, that we made a quick shot and uh, also fortunate that we found him as we did. Yeah. So. Uh, Beautiful animal, and, and I'm just grateful to be here, PJ Safaris. Yeah, in this tall grass, the, the tracking is not easy. Even though that you can see this animal bled a lot, we couldn't find any blood on the ground, uh, so we were just running, uh, going on a track that we thought was his track, and then Barry, our cameraman, he just did. like, oh, there it is. So <laughs> we had to turn around and walk back. But yeah, he didn't go 60 yards, 70 yards, and yeah, just crashed in this tall grass. I think Barry let us go for a half a mile and then said he was it was back there a half a mile. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> but well done. Beautiful lechwe. Nice old bull. Tips is worn down. So yeah, congratulations Thank on you. your beautiful trophy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice long tips. Thank you. Sure, male. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yeah, I think <coughs> eventually the root system did perish. Um, if I look at this, it could have been probably where a root was at one stage. So the support system of the, the baby actually disappears <coughs> and then it just tips over. And like you can see here, it's not a tree with wood, it's all just fiber. So this whole tree consists of about 80% moisture. And uh, yeah, when it falls over or dies, it dries out and eventually the wind will just blow it away. Wow. So in a couple of years there will be nothing here. Huh. Do it, do it.